How is it going, everybody? Headed out to the garage. Uh, got a problem with the truck. And it's kind of a serious problem. And if I don't fix it now, it's gonna lead to even more problems. So, everybody is probably familiar that these 13th gen F-150s are aluminum. So you don't have to worry too much about rust. However, if you have water where it's not aluminum, it's still gonna rust. So this leads me to the issue that I'm having and hopefully this will work because I need to get you inside the cab. And it's a little tight out here in the garage. All right, so let me get a light of some sort here. I'll try to use my cell phone flashlight. Okay. So I don't know if you can see very well, but there's a stain on the headliner. And it goes pretty much all the way across. Now, what I noticed was at some point I started to get an odor in my truck and it's not a pleasant odor it actually smells like cat piss <laughs> it's a very ammonia type smell and it's disgusting really but I didn't know what it was I just figured I don't know maybe something in the vent you know maybe I need to change my cabin air filter something like that what it was, as I found out later, sorry, just checking the cords, is the third brake light is leaking water. Every time it sat in the rain, every time I took it to the car wash, the third brake light housing is getting water in behind. That water goes down into the roof and then somehow goes right into the headliner, soaks the headliner, drips down the back window, and runs down behind the seats. Because of the carpeting and the adhesive in the headliner, when it gets wet, that's what produces the cat piss smell. And it's very, very unpleasant. So what I need to do is fix this third brake light housing. It's obviously got a leak. So we're gonna do that today and it should not take long at all. We'll be done here. Okay, I have two cameras set up here. I got one that's just doing a general view and I got one on my head so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So, to get in close here, somewhere water is getting in behind this, past the gasket, and into the roof. So we need to get those star, whatever they are, out of there. Oh, hopefully I have the right. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So first things first, we'll take the screws slash bolts out of the factory one. Now this may have actually been my fault because I replaced the bulbs in the factory housing here with LEDs. However, I don't see how that would screw up the gasket on the back of the housing. Could be wrong. Probably not wrong. But we shall find out. And hopefully this rectifies the water leak situation because I bought a brand new third brake light housing, not a factory one, I went aftermarket.
So if any of you F-150 guys start smelling cat piss in your truck, look for stains on your headliner at the back of the truck. Not guaranteeing it's the third brake light housing like this, because also your window seal could leak. And I've also heard of, I'll show you in a second, the plastic trim on the roof line potentially leaking. And that plastic trim is right here. I've heard of this leaking somehow and water getting back in there. But I'm really not thinking that's my problem. Alright, well look here. See how that's pushed down? That's really weird. I'm not going to lie. How would that get pushed down like that? And you can see here where the gasket was. Obviously water went right in there and a little bit in there. Now the issue with this is the seat brackets and the seat mounting is all steel. Okay, so um, steel rusts if it gets wet. Where is my wire connector at? Okay, I gotta push these down. Easier said than done. Just got to get that other piece down. There we go, I think I got it. Okay, here it comes. So, real simple. Unplug the old. Plug in the new. If I can. There it is. All right. So, there's the factory one. And there's where the gasket's all hosed up. Okay. Here is the new one. Which, I don't know, I care for the quality so far. This was made by Putco, P-U-T-C-O. As you can see, it has a pretty decent foam seal all the way around. The lenses are all blocked off, unlike the factory one where they were open, so you can end up getting a lot of moisture in the lens. However, this corner concerns me here, but uh, we'll see. We'll plug it in and get it mounted, and hopefully it won't leak. All right, there's that. And I should have actually gone through the other part. Over here. Okay. Extremely simple, just a swap, swapping out OEM for aftermarket. It's got these pins that you line up. Wow, that's quite the gasket, good lord. I guess that's in. The downside is the OEM had four mounting points with the screws. This one only has two. 
so we will again just hope for the best. Let's see what happens. If I didn't have the car seats in the back, I would show you what the rusty seat mounting hardware looks like. And trust me, it really sucks to know that that happened. Like, I'm not happy about that at all. I suppose I could try to warranty it. However, I put the LED bulbs in myself, so they're going to say that, you know, it was my fault because I swapped out can uh, standard bulbs for LEDs. Who knows? Again, I'm not crazy about just two mounting screws. I mean, I know it's gonna hold, but I'm worried about that gasket being pushed tight. So there it is. Um, yeah.